time to blow another stick. Let's go outside. Smoke break. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? It's your boy Q Morgan back in your ass once again with another edition of Blowing the Budget. Here yeah, we highlight those budget friendly cigars. So let's introduce our new smoker friends to the cigar lifestyle. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a like. Give me two thumbs up. That automatically enters you into the monthly swag bag drawing. Each month, I pick out a couple of sticks, print out a couple of shirts, send those directly to your house. I'm excited to take this smoke break with you. I pulled out an exclusive and rare Black Work Studio. Let's get into it. Highlight those budget friendly cigars as well as those premium sticks that appears on everybody's wish list. Today we're blowing on the Hyena by Blackwork Studio. This is a perfect balance. On the intro, I'm getting a real creamy uh, texture to the smoke. It's a light pepper on the retro hail. Not very hot. This is classified as a medium to full. But on the introduction, I'm getting a, a little woody taste, uh, a little bit of baking spice that's coming through this, kind of like a cinnamon. into the first third and we already got some unraveling on the wrapper. While we're looking at the wrapper, let's look at the construction. The Hyena by Blackworks Studio features a Cameroon wrapper with Nicaraguan Habano binders. The filler is also Nicaraguan and this is a 5 by 46 Corona Gordo, classified as a medium to full, topping the budget at just $10. If you understand the flavor profiles and the tobaccos, introduced in this hyena. Cameroon is gonna offer that rich aroma, spicy flavor. The Nicaraguan Habano is gonna definitely give you that leather, that wood taste. <clears throat> and it's definitely coming through into the first third. Don't know what this stick is all about, but we about to get through this whole thing with you. So sit back, sit tight. This is Blow the Budget. y'all we had to duck it out because motherfuckers wanted to interrupt my video session while I was in the smoke shack I'm at work so I'm trying to get a stick in get a review done for y'all told y'all I'm in between spots so I'm trying to get a video in wherever I can fit it in we just started this back up at the halfway point all the flavors uh, of the beginning, the white pepper, uh, the wood flavor, natural sweetness, those continue through the halfway portion of this stick. However, the strength is getting a little bit bolder. Not necessarily bust your ass, but definitely there is some pickup in this stick up. In the beginning, we were introduced to a white pepper on the retro hill. Now that we're in the halfway point, that white pepper has turned to a red pepper, a little bit cayenne, a little caliente. With the exception of the wrapper, there is a consistent burn line. It's, it was consistent in the first third. It's consistent through half, even in the relighting, even though that we have that unravel right there. Not gonna mark away too many points. I'm still going through uh, my humidor, humidification, all of that stuff. I'm moving, so I'm unplugging the box, plugging it back up. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get my boxes <clears throat> regulated in the move. Now, through half, this is an enjoyable stick solely because 
it is a very complex transitioning stick. So as we get into half, the flavors that we have, the sweet, the spicy, the wood texture, or the wood flavor, the creaminess, they're popping in and out, uh, back and forth. So right now in the halfway point, we have that red pepper, which is taking the forefront. But now it's kind of, I guess I'm, it's sitting hot on my throat, <clears throat> but it's not so hot that I can't keep puffing. And that hot is really only on the retro hell. Your tongue is gonna get the creamy and smooth and sweet. Weird how this happens, but this is a definitely one to try. This is the Black Works Studio Hyena. You guys may be familiar with the Killer Bee. I think last summer, everybody went crazy looking for Killer Bees. Well. Black Works Studio has come up with the Hyena, released in 2021, actually March 2021. And this was only about 17,000 sticks uh, produced. So this is a rare find. I definitely want to give a shout out to my cigar hooligans for sending me a care package with this inside. Thank you. This came in a 5 by 46 This is a Corona Gordo. Now this is a little bit smaller than the gauge that I'm accustomed to, but this is definitely one to try. The transitions in this stick are amazing. Each puff yields something different. Now of course you're gonna get consistent flavors throughout the stick, even though that we're getting through the halfway point from the first third to half, We've gotten a sweet, a baking spice, and a pepper note. There are some wood notes that come through, but I can't distinguish whether it's oak, cedar, or whatever. Now we're getting through half. Gotta get back to work, so we're gonna come back at you and finish this out. This is blowing the budget. Well, y'all, we are approaching the home stretch, not quite done with the session, but we are approaching nonetheless. And this is an enjoyable cigar. Although we started out with some unraveling, possibly my humidor fucked up, dried up in between the move, I'll take the blame for it, but the transitions in this stick are pleasantly surprising. Uh, you're going from spicy to sweet to wood to earthy, and the transitions are in between puffs. It's, it's really, really an enjoyable stick. And it's not a bold stick. It's not a bust your ass stick. But this is a medium to full. So if you're interested in getting away from the cheap stuff and getting away from the sweet stuff, we definitely want you to try Black Work Studio. Look, I'm no professional by any means. However, I do enjoy the opportunity to share with my smoker friends those sticks that I enjoy, as well as those that I don't. As for Black Work Studio, Hyena, this is definitely one to add to the box. $10, definitely add this to the box. Maybe not an everyday smoker, but definitely an every weekend good whiskey. Whatever you pouring up, make sure you keep it smoking. It's your boy Q Morgan in the building. I gotta get back to work. Peace out.